Apple recently released the new iPad OS 26. It's supposed to be groundbreaking and let's see if it can actually replace a complete laptop for on-set work. I decided to give it a try and experience this with you all together. Okay, first I can notice a new cursor. It's uh, more pointy like the classic ones and I would say it's also more convenient. Okay, straight away we should try the most exciting new feature, the multitasking. Weather app and Google Maps. With these two apps, I often have them side by side so I can check for upcoming shoots if the location where I'm filming is actually affected by the weather or not. And here, let's see. Oh yes, down in the lower right corner, we can drag it and resize the window to our liking. This is so cool. Yeah, it's exactly like on the Mac. It's so cool. You can also position them however I want. Okay, let's try to do 50-50 left and right. So if I flick this to the right and select the next one and flick it to the left, we should have a 50-50 split screen view. This is so cool. I can also decide how much real estate each app should take up on the screen. And this is much more precise than the one before. I remember before you could only do, I think, 50-50, 70-30, uh, and then it goes over and makes one of the app disappear. Oh yes, on top we also can access all the detailed menus like how you're usually uh, familiar with on the Mac. On the upper left I see the classic three buttons, maximize, minimize and uh, close application. And when we right click on that one, yeah we can also do the um, specific arrangements of these windows. Yeah, to be honest with this view, it's so easy to switch between the apps. Oh, and let's try something. So if I hit here, minimize, and then reopen the app. Yes, it stays exactly where we left off. So this is also identical to, to working on a Mac. Yeah. As a filmmaker on the road, trying to take the laptop out of an already fully packed backpack can be quite annoying. Able to not use a heavy bulky computer, instead using an iPad with the new Files app to transfer footage on site is very important to me. Files, this also apparently has some updates. We have much more additional information in the list view. We can even add more if we want. This is really nice and helpful. And also you can just use this to peek a little bit into the folders without having to really go into them. It's also nice to have. Oh yeah, open with. You can also set how each file should be opened by default. So in this case, it was a new preview app. Nice. And if I remember correctly, oh yes, you can finally select multiple files and before you would have to do select and then tick box and then copy over. This is just like on the computer. With the shift key, you can select multiple ones. And I also remember you could customize the folders and give it also a tag. So in this case, we can give it yellow and we can also add an emoji to it. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, then the preview app. Here it's similar to the computer. Now you can finally also quickly adjust certain files like screenshots, etc. Uh, so here I could rotate, for example, or highlight something important. This is great to have. Now, one more cool thing is it can do background tasks continuously. So let's say you started a download, switched to another app, and then went back. The download wouldn't be stopped. It would just continue and be completed. If it was on the older version, you would have to keep the app open the entire time till the download finishes. And of course, also design-wise, you have new options, especially the newly announced glossy glass design. Uh, in this case, I think it looks cool, but a bit too gimmicky. Like I feel I rather prefer the default one. And of course, some of the issues I encountered. I'm using the Apple default Magic Keyboard and also Magic Mouse. Sometimes the cursor gets stuck in between and then I can't move it. So that's a bit weird. Hopefully this gets fixed in the uh, official update. Then another thing I noticed is I wanted to just simply scroll with the mouse, but it doesn't work. You still have to somehow use your finger here on the iPad to do that. So that's a bit counterintuitive. One more awesome thing I discovered when using Adobe Rush editing software, I can have this entire screen for the timeline because the uh, live video feed is displayed on the external monitor. 
Also here, a little unfortunate thing, you cannot scroll with the magic mouse, you still have to use your finger here to navigate through the timeline. In files, I see we can also erase or let's say format a new hard drive. This is pretty practical to do directly on the iPad. Um, unfortunately, I'm missing a bit the eject button. This would make me feel better when I eject a drive after the copy. But yeah, hopefully this comes later in an update. Okay, that's was iPad OS 26. If I miss any of the new features, feel free to also comment down below. And if you want to see more awesome content like this, consider subscribing. Bis zum nächsten Mal. See you, Freunde.